This is a Lion Mitzel production. Hey, what's up? YouTube World PTF Week 11 back. Oh, man, Week 10. Teams, people just falling off. Just, you know? Getting to that nitty gritty. We're getting there towards the end of the year. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Teams are falling off. So let's get into it real quick. Look, big game. I called this one. Arkansas beat up on Florida. I called it. Your boy called it. You guys got to listen to me when I'm talking about these things now. Uh, Arkansas looks good. Just too bad that they play in the SEC West where the big dog likes. The SEC East ain't going to do it. Florida State squeaks NC State. Um, they always play them tough. It's always a close game. Florida State, you know, we knew. I, I called that one. We, Florida State ain't going to lose games two games in a row. I, I, they're just too good of a ball club to do it. I, and I called that one. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, Ohio State over Nebraska. Nebraska's a good ball team. You know, they just, the Big Ten is, is real serious this year. Good game. Um, Buckeyes often still kind of sputtering, but they're, they're, they're winning. So, um, Washington still undefeated, still doing the thing. Um, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about them later. Uh, we've got some question marks as far as Washington goes, so we'll, we'll see. And then the game of the night was Alabama LSU. If anybody ever thought of taking the over in this game, you're nuts. Because if you look at the scores of these these two teams when they play, it's never high score. It was boring. Bama pulls it off 10-0. LSU's offense just it's just not there. I don't understand. It, you know, if Alabama's that good, which they are, yeah, Alabama's a great team, but LSU seems to be fumbling as far as the offense goes every time they play Alabama. And I don't know if it's just Nick Saban and the coordinators are doing that 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 great of a job, but you know, it is what it is. So that's the big games of week 10. Uh, we got a lot of shifting in the playoffs. Um, I've labeled my Heisman down to three players right now. And um, we'll get into conferences. I'll talk about my picks for the four and how that should adjust. And we'll take a look at week 11. As the season's gone on, I've, I've, I've dropped my Heisman. I think I started with like five. Um, those have it, they've dwindled, just like with any season, you know. I you know I, I was big on Fournette this year. I was big on LSU, and they've kind of fallen off. You know, uh, Davin Cook at Florida State. Florida State's taking a lot of losses, and not saying you can't win the Heisman with losses, but you know the voters like style points, and you know, it's out there. Ward from Houston. I was big on him this year, and I know he had a couple big games and. They're just not there. Um, I've labeled it down to three. Uh, coming in number three, I'm going to take uh, Mr. Browning from Washington. Washington's undefeated. The kid's playing um, like an all-pro out there. Obviously, All-American wrote all over him. He's definitely going to be all Pac-12. Washington is going to have some issues because of how weak the Pac-12 is. But you can't take that away from Browning's gameplay. So Washington and Browning, I got him at number three. Number two, I've still got Deshaun Watson. Why? Because they're still winning. Yes, maybe not by the biggest blowouts and whatever else, but a W is a W. And then the ACC this year, which is a solid conference, okay, probably number three, if not number two in the country, they're winning. They beat Florida State. They beat Louisville, which is a very good team, okay? With that being said, with their, with their schedule, and their wins, you have to put Deshaun Watson on it, okay? You know, if they win the ACC, which they should, uh, it's going to help out and depend on how they look in the playoffs. But Deshaun Watson's my number two. And then, of course, the rest of the world agrees with, you know, I agree with them, they agree with me, whoever it may be. Lamar Jackson is number one. There's no question. The dude put up, like, another seven touchdowns over the weekend. I mean, how, this dude... Is scoring more points by like or connecting with points than probably the Mac, the Mountain West, and you know, but you know, probably two other conferences. So he's he's hands down the best. And, and even if he sat out the rest of the year, 
no, I still don't think anybody can pick. If he got hurt right now, which knock on wood he doesn't. Hey, come here. You know, even if he got knocked out right now, it, it wouldn't matter. Okay, Deshaun or Lamar Jackson is still the best player in the country. So, with that being said, let's look at our conferences. Talk a little bit about some playoff pictures. All right, conferences. Now, the Big Ten is the best. There's no question there. There's, there's no question there. The Big Ten is the best conference in football right now. Throwing this out there, I think Michigan is the only team in college football right now that can beat Alabama. I think Louisville is close. I think that they might have should have beat Clemson, but they didn't. I think that Lamar Jackson has a shot to beat Alabama. I don't believe they're going to get it. But Michigan is, to me, the only team that can match up to Alabama team for team. They're also the best team in the Big Ten, and the Big Ten is the best conference in the country right now. My pitch. Number two, I'm going to move the SEC back in front of the SEC, or the ACC again. Alabama's going to win it. There's no question. There's no team, especially from the East, that's going to win it. Whatever team plays Alabama in the SEC championship, it's going to get ugly real quick, real ugly real fast. That's all I gotta say. Uh, number three, the ACC, Clemson. Um, even even if Virginia Tech wins out, I don't see my Hokies being able to play yet. Maybe next year. Um, but you never know. I still think Clemson's the best team in this conference. Followed by a very close second to Louisville. Okay. Um, number four is gonna be the Big 12. Oklahoma's the, the team to beat in that conference. There's no question there. They might have had a little bit of a bumpy start, but they've definitely figured their roles out, and they've got it together. Last but not least is the Pac-12 with Washington leading that, and no one is going to – I don't I don't think anybody's better than Washington in that conference. Okay. Now, uh, the playoff picture. You know, as we're getting closer, uh, you know, we're starting to throw our, our playoff forecasts out there, our who, who's here, who's that, who's going to get this. And, you know, so I, I'm going to go ahead and throw mine out there. Um, Alabama, obviously, the the only way that you can scratch Bama from the playoffs is obviously they have to lose. Who even has a shot? Auburn, maybe. You know, Auburn's back in the top ten. Uh, they're kind of a question mark. The defense is solid, and now they're 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 learning how to play offense. So, is Auburn going to do it? Who knows? You know what I mean? It, it's the Iron Bowl. Who has a clue? What happens in that? Me personally, I still think Bama's going to be undefeated come the playoffs. Last but not, and secondly, Clemson. Uh, Clemson is there. I don't see anybody from the Coastal and the ACC beating them in the remainder of their schedule. Pretty much has them favored uh, as far as that goes. Um, you know, they have rival USC and the Gamecocks. Yeah, probably not this year. Um, so I'm going to take Clemson. At number, uh, my third pick in the playoffs. Now, this one can go either way, okay? Um, I, I think Michigan is going to be there. At all. I don't see anybody beating them, but the only one that could do it and also pole vault them, their selves, in, back into the playoff race is Ohio State, okay? Ohio State's beat Nebraska. They beat Wisconsin. If they can squeak Michigan, even though they're lost against Penn State, I that, put, that has to put them back in it because right now, they're, they're nipping to get back in, okay? And my number four is Washington. If they run the table and go undefeated, how can you not put them in there, okay? Yes, their strength of schedule is not all that great, but you still have to put Washington in there. Now, with that being said, if the crazy football gods decide that Auburn wants to beat Alabama, where does that put Alabama? Are you telling me that an undefeated Washington team deserves to be in front of a one-loss Alabama team? There's absolutely no way, and how any person in the committee could actually take that would be insane. Same thing goes for Ohio State. If Ohio State can beat Michigan, okay, and for whatever reason uh, they try to put Washington in front of Ohio State, you're nuts. It's just not possible. That's my four. Uh, Michigan and Ohio State, I think, are a flip-flop as far as you know that seed goes. I, I still think Michigan's a better team. I know I called Ohio State at the beginning of the year, but Michigan's, or Michigan is 
arguably probably one of the best teams in college football right now. It's my conference talk, uh, my little bit of my playoff pitch. Let's get into week 11. Week 11. Yeah, we're almost done with it. It's crazy. It's, it, 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 we're almost done. <sighs> Thursday night, it, it, you know, I'm not going to put this in my pick em game. Uh, you know, I usually pick 10 games. I'm not going to pick this one. I'm going to be watching it just because of, you know, my boys. And I I need North Carolina to lose to give me a little bit of comfort. All right. Uh, Duke, North Carolina. Duke's not what they were supposed to be. They're, they've lost some players this year. And uh, North Carolina is just firing on all cylinders. You know, 12 cylinders if you really want to give it to them. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a game that I'm going to be watching Thursday night. Most people aren't going to give two shits about it, but, you know, I will be. All right, let's get into my pick. I'm Saturday, Baylor, Oklahoma. Baylor has completely fallen out in the past two weeks. Okay, just... Can they bounce back up against Oklahoma? I don't... What do you think, Hope? I don't think so either. So I'm going to take Oklahoma. Um... Bama, Mississippi State. Mississippi State had a big upset this weekend, you know, or last weekend. This weekend, it's not going to happen. Uh, tie, double digits. Yeah, big win, okay? Coming off that win against LSU, it was a hard-fought game. They're going to be tired, sore. It's not going to matter. Put some of the second string guys in. Let them get some PT. Bam, up big double digits over Mississippi State. Texas, West Virginia. Going to be my upset game this week. I'm going to take Texas. Uh, West Virginia's good. They can score points. Um, the tailback for Texas, I think, is Deonta Freeman or whatever his name is. He's a beast. West Virginia's a little undersized to be messing with Texas in their offensive line. You know, they have the diesel package with swoops and everybody else. I'm going to take Texas over West Virginia. And if not, it ain't going to be by much. I think the size of Texas... They're going to be able to run West Virginia over me personally. So that's my pick. I'm upset for the week. Georgia-Auburn. Civil War. Nobody cares. Auburn over Georgia. Defense is going to be too much for them. Georgia's not all there this year. Um, yeah. Auburn in the Civil War. Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. Uh, points will be scored. There will be some points. <laughs> there will. There is going to be some points put on the board in this one. Oklahoma State's going to win. Um, LSU, Arkansas. Uh, I called Arkansas last week beating Florida. I don't think Arkansas is going to have the defense to slow down Leonard Fournette. He's too good. Coming off of a bad week. Fournette, probably 140 yards plus and probably two touchdowns. I'm going to take Fournette and LSU over Arkansas. USC, Washington. Now, the Trojans have kind of come back this year. They they fell off and now they're back. You know they're back in the top 25. Washington, you know the, the Pac-12 showdown. Finally, we have some Pac-12 teams that are ranked. Uh, I, I'm not on the USC wagon yet. I'm still you know walking with the Huskies, and I'm going to say Washington over USC. Uh, Michigan, Iowa. I know this is a prime time game. I know the Hawkeyes are like this. This year, they're up, they're down, they're good, they're bad, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Jabril Peppers, Harbaugh, Wolverines, go blue, okay? Michigan, probably double digits in this one as well. Um, California, Washington State, another Pac-12 matchup. Cal's not ranked. Washington's in the top 25. You know, going to be some points scored. Okay, Webb's going to throw some points. Washington State's going to throw some, the ball downfield with, you know, Leach at the helms. You know, I... I, I'm going to take Washington State in this one. And the, my last pick, Florida and the Gamecocks. Uh, Gamecocks coming off a big win against Tennessee. You know, they're riding high right now. They got a new, they unredshirted their, this freshman quarterback they got out there, Bentley or whatever his name is. And Florida coming off that loss against Arkansas. Them boys are going to be pissed. And I believe they're going to go into williams Price and give it to South Carolina. Close, but, you know, this game with Steve Spurrier gone – isn't what it used to be. The Gamecocks aren't what they used to be. Florida, I still don't think Florida is as great as everyone thought they were. Because I mean, they were in the top ten a couple weeks ago. Um, they, they have, whatever. Um, Florida over the Gamecocks. That's my ten picks for the week. 
Um, everybody have a great week in college football. Stay safe. Uh, be happy. And I um, hope nobody kills each other after these elections just happened. And we'll see you back here for week 12. Have a great weekend.